Hey everyone, it's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and please come check out the end of hashtag DP Summer Cool Off. See what the Ice Princess turned out. See how I blinged her, how I transformed her face. Yes, I did a face transplant. So come see what I did. I can't wait to see you on the other side of this intro. glad that you're here. We have completed our hashtag DP summer cool off and the next video after this one will be our Hannah Lynn live. You guys have to come check it out even if you're watching it on replay. I'm super excited. It has been two months in the works and Hannah Lynn is coming on and spending time with us in the diamond painting world. So please, please stay tuned. Also, I will be doing a drawing this weekend for those who participated in the hashtag DP Summer Cool Off. So please make sure this is your last, last, last chance to go down in the link below and um, enter in for the hashtag DP Summer Cool Off. It is a form to fill out. Should be super easy and simple. Uh, and I can't wait. The prizes are just to remind you. Um, we have first prize, which is three. This is a full pack of the 3812 300 and 151 ABs. So first prize will receive all three of these. And then the grand prize winner will receive a $40 gift card from Diamond Art Club that you can spend at your leisure. So thank you so much for our sponsors. And we just had so much fun. We This was a collab with Wolfpack. Stephanie, as you know, she goes live on Thursdays. I go live on Fridays. And we went back and forth. And I know she's still working on this because she wants to make it beautiful. And the point of the summer cool-off is to pick something for six, six weeks or so that you could work on that helps you feel cooled off. So I did Ice Princess with Stephanie Wolfpack. And uh, some people did lake shores, some people did sunflowers or sunglasses, uh, some people did iced tea, some people did cold climates, many people did Ice Princess with us, and we blinged her out. And so I'm going to take you through this post review of Hannah Lynn's Beautiful Ice Princess created and charted by Diamond Art Club. So let's take it through the review process. I give it five stars. How do I do my stars? I do it on um, quality of the canvas, quality of the drills, quality of the glue. Did I enjoy the experience and did it turn out how I expected or beyond that? All five of those hit the mark, full five stars. Thank you so much, Hannah Lynn. When this Ice Princess first came out, I wanted it so bad, but I didn't buy it. I was good. Then they came out and said it was a limited edition because they did not like the way her face had turned out. By the time it sold out as the first edition and they came out with the second edition, the second edition is a closer up view of the top part. You don't get the beautiful ruffles of the dress and you don't get the snow leopard. And those were the things I loved about her. And so I waited and waited and waited and they kept telling me that it was coming, but there was a delay. And then COVID hit and there was a further delay. So what happened is one of my good friends, love you tea maker, uh, was doing a de-stashing of some of her diamond art clubs and Ice Princess was there and I nabbed her. As soon as I nabbed her, it came on pre-order on Diamond Art Club, but that's okay. Murphy's Law. I decided I was going to change her face. So this is the first thing we're going to talk about. Before we get into the bling part that Stephanie and I created, I was bound and determined to change her face. So what I did is I first used the color P, the symbol P, which was color 754. It's this color right under her rouge, but that was what was all her skin. And I started doing that and realized it's too orange peachy. I, I felt like she was a 
child of an Oopa Loopa married to uh, an Irish person. I don't know. Anyway, I just, she looked orangey. So I pulled out Hannah Lynn's Mother of Earth that I had because I saw somebody complete it and loved the way the skin tone came out and realized instead of 754, they actually used 948 for the skin tone. So I de-drilled <laughs> all of her face and her skin and I put 948 where it called for 754. Then instead of lavender pink, because it looked weird to me, um, just up close, I then took the 754 and did it as the shadowing where this lavender pink was before for shadowing. And I felt like it gave it the depth it needed. And then I chose for the cheeks, instead of the 3608 and the 3609, which again is more lavendery, I did uh, the 957 for the cheeks. And then for the shadowing in the forehead and the lips, I did what it called for, which was the 3608. I also added a little fairy dust in the lip to give it a little lip gloss look. So that's how I did the skin tone. So there is shadowing. It's just different. It's more skin color rather than this lavender pink color. I don't know. My skin, you know, it's it has issues, but I didn't want her to look like she had acne. So that's how I developed the skin tone. Then what I did is in the trees, I didn't know if I would have enough ABs. So some of the trees, the bigger ones, do not have the white, the 30, what is it, 30, 3865. I left it as is, but the trees that are closer to her, I did what Diamond Art Club calls 141, or I call it um, the, the 5200. So I took AB's 5200 and I switched out the um, 3865 and I put 5200 and it turned out really well. I didn't do, I didn't replace all of it because I just wanted a little bling. I didn't want it like to, ah, super sunglasses. So up here, there's not, I just let the blue that was originally as an AB be what kind of brought out the bling. And then as you get further into the painting, there's more bling. In her hair, I did the normal, what they called for the 138, which is that aqua blue color. I used that AB, but then I switched out the 820s for 820 AB. And I switched out the 762 for 762 round AB. These were all bought from DP with Sparklers, um, which is a wonderful business run by Tina and her family. I love it, I'm addicted. That's what I did, okay? I also replaced some, not all, in the dress, the 762s. So I replaced around the snowflakes, and also a little bit here at the top of her dress is where I did the 762s. And then anything in the animals was blinged out with the white 5200 replacement and the 762s. The black and the other grays helped keep the depth of color so that they still bling, they still sparkle, They've got a little pizzazz, however, there's still some depth that lets you sink into the color. All right, what else did I do? Down here, there was a blue color for this first snowflake, but all the other snowflakes were white, so I replaced that blue color, and because half of it was 762, I ended up taking the blue out, I didn't like it, and did the whole, snowflake except for the center as 762 and then the other ones I did the AB color gave it a little extra bling down here where the icebergs or the shelf of the ice was I replaced the um there's a little gnat ah, help me <laughs> 
I replaced the 820s with some ABs over here and then I neglected to do it over here, but I don't think unless I just pointed it out, like I pointed it out to you, you would have noticed because the sparkle of a diamond art club is so rich that, you know, ABs just give it a little extra, extra. Okay, in the skirt, I had a philosophy. I wanted you to see each and every, I don't wanna call it a wrinkle, every ruffle, every, and so what I did is the first ruffle I did as is. As it was charted, all of the colors are as is. And then the second row of ruffles, give or take, I added just a little bit of the ABs, so I switched out the 820s and um, I think, yeah, I just switched out the 820s and put 820s in here. The rest are as charted. Then I dove in, and this next group, I did, oh no, I'm sorry, I did 820s, and then I also added a little bit of ocean color, which are actual sparklers, they're not ABs, they're cut differently. So this is as is. The next one is 820 ABs and the Ocean Sparklers. And I replaced, um, I replaced color, yeah, where is it? I wanna say it was the 3843. I could be wrong, but I think it's the 3843 I replaced with the Ocean. And then the final one I wanted like, whew, beautiful. So I did, um, 820 AB, I did the ocean, and I did 310 AB, which comes out almost like a blue-green color versus a black color because of the coating. And then down in the flowers, I switched out the 3609 with fairy dust sparklers, which is this pink lavender color. And I switched out 3607 with hot pink sparklers. And so that gave it a little extra bling as well. So all in all, the colors I used to bling it out was the original 134, which is the Diamond Art Club number, 141 slash 5200. The 138, which is that Aqua AB, the 310, the 762, the 820, the ocean sparklers, the, uh, I haven't labeled this yet, fairy dust sparklers, and the hot pink sparklers. And then I switched out and used 948 for the skin tone. Also around her eyes, I did some eyeliner of the 310, but then left her lashes itself as the normal 310. Da, 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 da. And then I want to show you what I have left over for drills. I did not need to worry about any drills, especially since I had replaced some of them already. So these I still have open. I didn't put them in a container because all my Harbor Freights were full, but I did have drills left over. Never had to worry. I especially had 820s because I pulled those out. Um, oh, it was the 796 I replaced with the ocean. 796 with the ocean. Okay, so that is the beautiful Ice Princess. I wanted to go over what I did, how I blinged it out. It was touch and go. I needed a light pad for her hair because I only blinged her hair itself out. And so there was some white background in here and to really focus. And I used the image that came with it, this sticker, so I could see what was hair and what was background. I just was really conscious of what was going on. I may or may not go back and sparkle out her crown. I was a little like jumping into it. And by the time I realized, oh, I probably should sparkle her crown out to match her ruffles. I had already, you know, bypassed the crown and I had already taken all her face apart and put it back together, you know, face transplant. I didn't want to like redo the crown. I may just leave it. I don't know. We'll find out. I need to do it sooner or later before the glue completely solidifies, 
knowing me, I'm probably lazy and we'll just leave it as is because it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Okay. So down below, there is a link to make sure that you enter for the last time. I am closing it out tonight and hoping to pull the name tomorrow and do a video. We shall see what tomorrow brings, but a video will be going up this weekend. So you never know, but for sure until midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight or when I wake up tomorrow morning, enter in to receive the prizes potentially. Also check out, I have a link down below for Diamond Art Club. You can get 15% off. Great, woohoo! Especially because today they released a lot of um, canvases. I don't know how many are left because we all have been drooling, right? <laughs> And also, please don't forget to check out my book on how to diamond paint. It has been released on Rocky Nook and Amazon and Barnes and Noble. You can get it by ebook right now, or you can uh, order it for pre-order for print. It is number one in the new releases for the crafting section. I've gotten some great feedback. I spent a lot of time and energy putting thought into what we do and why we do it. And I am super excited to see what comes next. So I'm going to go prep for Hannah Lynn. And I love you all. Take care. I hope you had an amazing summer on hashtag DP Summer Cool Off. Can't wait for the next collab. Um, right now I'm doing it with Brian for a mystery collab. We are trying to figure out what's going on in our world of diamond painting. So until next time, be blessed. Take care. Bye-bye.